He has the command over the instrument and virtually makes it his own voice. I think he created this feeling that I don't think anybody else can. Vishwa Mohan Bhatt has made a unique use of the guitar. A performer for the last 24 years, his roots are still firmly in the Indian classical tradition. My whole family has music in it. My father used to sing, my mother sings, and my eldest brother, he plays sitar. And since my childhood, I heard the sound, the composition, the rag, everywhere in the house. So uh, you can say that uh, hereditary and environment, both of the things were there. As a boy, Vishwamohan sang and played the sitar, but his curiosity was aroused when his father bought a guitar. It was lying on the shelf, and all the time it was tempting me to do something. So I just took that guitar, and uh, because uh, I didn't like to play Indian classical music in Spanish style, because I was used to the sound of veena and uh, sitar and sarod, the Indian instrument. So I decided to play the slide guitar. So I put a small bridge here and then raise the strings to make it play conveniently uh, slide. By adding 12 extra strings and applying Indian instrumental techniques, Vishwa Mohan has created what he calls the Mohan Veena. 
Mohan Vina is capable of, of a certain beauty, um, partly because it's not fretted. You can put a lot more ornamentation and articulation in the way you play something, because you don't have to just jump from one note to the other. You can, the way you get from one note to another is quite an important aspect of, of Indian music. In fact, he's part of a, of a tradition in India that I've noticed of people breaking the tradition, which is there's musicians like Yusuf Srinivas who plays electric mandolin, which is now accepted as a classical instrument. Um, Bismala Khan, who plays Shanai, um, is one of the sort of classical gods there, but that's not a traditionally classical instrument, it's considered a street instrument. Network East introduced Vishwa Mohan to Canadian producer Michael Brook, who's worked with maestros Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan and Yusun Dur. Michael has also created his own modified instrument, the infinite guitar. Vishwa Mohan's recent collaboration with another top Western guitarist, Rai Kuda, won them both a prestigious Grammy Award in America this year. Grammy Award is something which is considered to be a great thing and great honor. So I think certainly it, it makes some difference, uh, especially internationally, uh, people, uh, they appreciate that, oh, this is a big award which has been given to an Indian artist. While Western acclaim may come and go, Rishma Mohan's loyalty remains with Indian classical music. Our music is not only for entertainment. Each person has his own ideology about the music. But there is a common thing that our music is uh, spiritual also. This is the language through which we can talk to the God. And the rag uh, is uh, also in a pure form. It's like worshipping the God.